Hey guys, it's Michael from Noise Gaming, and today I'm going to show you guys a couple of sniper clips that I recorded. And um, a lot of this is aggressive gameplay. It includes uh, quick scoping, and um, it includes long range sniping as well. Um, a couple people have been asking me, oh yeah, um, you're pr I'm pretty uh, decent with the sniper, so how do I snipe? And how do you uh, consistently get headshots and hit targets like that and uh, take them down pretty quick? And so what I do is I incorporate the mill dots in the on the sniper rifles. So a lot of the sniper rifles in this game have the mill, do have the mill dots in the scope. And not a lot of people use those mill dots, but it's really a useful tool because a lot of the snipers have the mill dot. I think only the GOL sniper doesn't have any mill dots whatsoever, but a, lo a lot of the snipers, or the majority, almost all the snipers, I think, have mill dots on them or a variation of the mill dot. The mill dot is practically those dots that you see when you aim down the scope. There's, there should be four up to the upper part of the scope, four to the left, four to the right and four to the bottom um, pretty much when you're aiming at targets from uh, when you think they're really long range um, then you put the first mill dot down on top of their head pretty much with sniping in this game you pretty much always need to aim for their head but then uh, depending on the distance you're gonna have to aim up uh, higher so um, some of this like when I'm quick scoping, I think this is really uh, aggressive gameplay. First of all, well, yeah, I'm getting off topic here, but okay, quick scoping is um, really good. I, I mean, people complain about it, and yeah, oh yeah, it's not real sniping. So what? This is a video game. You don't, you're not gonna instill everything that's realistic into a video game, and uh, not a lot of people even play realistically. This, there's also a fun factor to it, which some people don't realize. So whenever people get there's something people don't like or there's uh, there's something that isn't overpowered but they over exaggerate it and they say it's overpowered because obviously not everyone could uh, do what I'm demonstrating here I mean I'm not trying to boast saying I'm good but not everyone can uh, can quick scope people and that's just the truth of it and pe when people say that it's unrealistic it should be taken out of the game that really just takes away a part of the game because um, the thing is, people are complaining if a sniper sits back and does his, does his real job, which is to spot targets and to just sit back and engage targets from long range. And people complain about that. So when a person actually goes uh, and plays aggressively and goes through the objective, helps the team and goes through the objective, people complain because then they're like, oh yeah, uh, they're quick scoping, that's so gay and that's bullshit and some, thing like, and some stuff like that. But um, it's really an effective way to play, and no matter what people have to say about it, I think that um, that it's the best way to play aggressively and to help out your team pretty much. Because if you're up there and you're 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 like um, throwing out motion sensors, you're spotting people, you're engaging targets from uh, close to medium range. That that's really helping out your team. And if uh, people hate on you for doing that, then I don't. I don't know what to say because that that's just a lose-lose situation for the snipers then I guess but anyways getting to my point that I was talking about before uh, when you're engaging targets from really long range it's pretty much just uh, comes down to experience when you get used to uh, calculating the distance of how far away they are you're gonna know how far you need to aim up uh, when you when you're using the GOL you're gonna need to calculate that it's gonna be a little tougher for you but if you use the mill dot system that I use then it's gonna be a little bit easier um, pretty much a lot of the targets that you're gonna be aiming at unless you're really far range like I'm talking about a 500 something point shot or like a or any of those um, 300 point 300 300 to um, I'm talking about a 300 to 500 uh, point shot then you're you're gonna pretty much be practically aiming up one mil dot site, one mil dot, um, pretty much. So if you think they're really far away, you're you're gonna end up probably just aiming up one mil dot. So pretty much you're putting the first mil dot down um, on top of their head, and you're firing, and uh, you'll consistently hit them, or you won't hit them because um, 
pretty much it's just a little bit of trial and error and once you get used to it you'll consistently get the the headshots all the time but um but pretty much uh, how do i say this <clears throat> pretty much it all it is is really practice okay once you get used to using the mill dot system then um then you'll hit targets consistently i guarantee you you'll hit them but the thing is you just got to know how to range your targets like if you by just looking at a target you got to be able to know like um how how far you need to aim up usually you only need to aim up like halfway halfway um towards the first mill dot down and then you'll probably hit a target headshot if you put that you just got to put that on, on his head and then you'll hit him in this game when you're sniping a tip is you always aim for the head because 90% of the time you're always going to need a headshot especially with the uh, bolt action snipers with the semi auto snipers it uh, leaves you it gives you more leeway um, so that you could uh, sh uh, get more shots off at the target but with the bolt action 90% of the time you're always going to have to get headshots for it so pretty much just practice uh, using the mill dot sites I mean mill dot system by just like uh, doing trial and error and uh, ranging your targets trying to put that um don't don't always if they're if you think they're really far away then you use the uh, then you aim up one mill dot but then if you think they're they're a good distance away um, but they're not too far like medium range um, I suggest you aim up either half of a mill dot half of the mill dot up or three-fourths of a mill dot up so pretty much you're aiming above them from where the center is you're you're pushing the center up and then you're putting that mill dot that first one down on their head if they're really far away or three-fourths of the way on their head if you think they're uh, like kind of far but not too far if you know what I mean Pretty much, it's really hard to explain exactly how to consistently get the headshots. It pretty much just comes with practice and how much you uh, you just know how to do it. Once you keep practicing and you get the hang of it, you, I guarantee you, you'll get all of those headshots. Especially when they're standing still. Like um, when they're standing still, um, once you know how to actually snipe, those are really easy targets. And uh, when they're moving, they're a bit tougher and but um when they're moving left or right or if they're coming forward you're gonna have to uh you're gonna have to calculate for their movement like depending on how fast they're moving you're gonna you're gonna have to uh aim ahead of them pretty much and it pretty much works the same way anyways thanks for watching um subscribe to my channel for more videos i'm gonna be doing battlefield videos call of duty videos um now I could post like videos that are over 15 minutes long so um, I'm going to be doing a lot of Battlefield videos hopefully if I'm not too lazy and um, COD videos. COD video videos are kind of easy though because they have the whole theater mode thing and uh, just check out the rest of my channel. I have a helicopter tutorial up for Bad Company 2 and um, yeah just like the video if you like it. I, I know some people are going to hate it because you know the quick scoping thing and how I'm degrading some people I guess and uh, yeah some people are going to not like it and I respect that but um, if you do like it and um, if you really need, need help or anything I, I know it's hard to explain how to snipe but maybe if you just watch the, um, the clips or if you could watch other videos or whatever about how to snipe or how, just seeing how people snipe then you'll understand what I'm talking about so yep yeah, thanks for watching uh, give the the video a thumbs up if you really like it uh, and subscribe to my channel if you uh, want to thanks have a nice day